Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, sir. Yes, how are you today? Yes, I'm t o i n s Yes, I hope to, you're good because we are on, uh, on the holidays, right? Did you take a rest well yesterday? Yes, I think you slept uh, enoughly and then even you, I hope you enjoyed your delicious food, right? Even, even thankfully, uh, our leaders, GN, GNM leaders, we could have the training for the gospel. Um, so, yeah, so yesterday, the deacons and the deaconess and the leaders and the captain, we gather here and we had a great time. For today, we officially we start uh, our uh, Easter celebration. As a first, uh, first lecture, I'm going to, uh, I w- going to tell about the prayer and fasting. And then, so firstly, let's read the Bible. Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. Matthew chapter, chapter 6, verse 5. Let me read first. And when you pray, you shall not like the hypocr- uh, hypocrites uh, for the day they love to pray standing in the synagogue. And the, on the corners of the street, that they may be seen by men. Assuredly, I say to you, you have their reward. Nimusenga, nimukamirinja, ya, kuko wakunda gusenga, wahagase mmasinago, jino mwuzirango, awanu wawarewe. Dawa wakirukuri yuko, wamaze kukure rukungorona nuzawo. But you, when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to your father who is in the secret place, and your father who sinned in the uh, in secret will reward you openly. And when you pray, do not see vain rep- uh, repeta- repetitions as the hidden uh, do, for they think that you, they will be heard for their many words. Therefore, do not be like them, for your father knows the things you have the need of the before you ask him. In this, sinner, uh, in this matter, therefore, pray your father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, you will be, the, be done. On the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our debt as we v e forgiven our debtor. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For your is the kingdom of uh, and the f- power and the glory forever. Amen. Uh, yes. So I'm so thanks, thankful once again because I could share about this topic, prayer and fasting. And this is the n o n e k w a m b a s h a k u a g a n i r a k u r i i n g i n g u i v u g a k u g u s e n g a n o k u i r i z a 
For me, as you know, I have served uh, the church since when I was born. Uh, fortunately, God allowed me to meet with the uh, met with the uh, GNN Good News Mission in Korea. So I served in this church over the 20 years. Uh, but when, uh, before, like three years before, I was in army, army service. Uh, that time I couldn't attend the Good News Mission Church because uh, I, was, I, I was serving in the one province. Uh, so I used to attend the church where it's located in the uh, in the our factory. Uh, so they for them but they are like uh, the mood and the service was different with uh, what we, uh, what I used to serve in the Good News Mission Church. Of course, they praise the songs, even they pray, and then they, they do many things. One is the biggest difference is they do the pray in the model prayers. In the model prayers. They pray according to the model prayers. They call Lord's Prayer. Actually, it is very famous in the church because they, they pray according to these verses. Do you know this this prayer, modern prayers? Of course, if you met with the Good News Mission as a first church, actually we don't pray according to this, but many churches they pray according to this modern prayer. Good News Mission uh, so when you check Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 uh, Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 up to 13 This is the model prayer uh, that, The pastor uh, asked the brother sister to stand up and then start, they start to pray according to these verses. So start from verse 9. In this matter, before pray, our Father in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come and your will be done on the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debt as we forgive our debtors and do not lead us into the temptation but deliver us from the evil one for our yours is the kingdom of the power and the glory forever amen so, so actually most church wars they memorize these verses and then they pray before start a service but for me, I didn't memorize this. So I couldn't follow their orders. But for others, they automatically they start to uh, the, the pray according to these verses. Even one, one of my friends, he asked me, why don't you follow? 
mwe mutsutsu zanye rambaje atse we kuki dakora iby'abandi bakora actually because i already explained to him i am the missionary uh, i am the theology students and then i'm i want i'm going to be the pastors he knows about me everything ndana na musobanuriye ko ndumunyeshuri wa theology ndi kwiga ngo nzabe umushumba yaraza makuru yanje but he surprised he because i told him i didn't memorize these verses ari ko mvuge ko iryo sengesho ntari fashe mu mutwe byaramutangaje cyane because for them it is it is very natural things to pray according to this a modern prayer but it is a it is a yesho ryiki tegererezo ya cyangwa rya data wa twese bari fashe mu mutwe ku buryo kuri senga biboroera cyane in korea many church they they pray according to this dero muri korea mu nsengero nyinshi bakurikira risengero and the some church they attack the news mission because they say why they don't I pray according to the modern prayer. And it's in Sanjiro zimwe rwose zitoteza good news bakaba bati kuki baba dasenga ngo kumwami yatwigishije. Actually there is answer why the good news mission doesn't do according to this modern prayer as it is. Nyamara muri risengesho bwa harimo igisubizo gituma good news mission itari senga itari senga. Firstly you have to know this modern prayer is it is not prayer of Jesus. Icya mbere mugomba kumenya no kuri sengesho rya data wa twese ntabwo ari ryo Yesu yasenze. Oh some people they confuse ah it is not prayer of Jesus. Ariko abantu bavuga bati dore iri ni sengesho y'umwami wacu. But actually it is model. It is model of the prayer. Gusa nurugero. It mean he just teach the disciple how to pray before God. Yes, he just abigish ko basenga bari imbere y'Imana. He never said you have to pray as it is. Ni yeza abwira ngo mujye musubira mu risengesho. You have to pray according to the modern prayer every day, every service. Ni yeza abwira ngo uri terane ruko musenze mujye musenga risengesho. But when you check the Bible verse 9, which is chapter 6 verse 9. Abwo witegereje mu rongo w'ikenda. Bible said in this manner haranditse ngo nuko musenge mutye mutye it mean this is the manner for the prayer buze ngo nubujyo bumwe bwo gusenga then jesus want to teach about the manner when you pray yes yashatse kwigisha abantu ubujyo bashobora gusenga but people they confuse and then they say ah we have to uh, we have to pray like this same Ar as like this ariko abantu bagira urujo batsi tugomba kuri senga but that is nonsense ari kibyo ntibisobanutse it is not match with the bible tabwo ari cyo bibiri bivuga so we have to check uh, we have to check accurately what it is the bible said twa tugomba kugenzura muri bibiliya icyo bibiri ivuga firstly i want to ask you which prayer god listened reka mbanze mbabaze niri esengesha imana ishobora gutega amatwi which prayer does god listen niri esengesha imana itega amatwi Some people say ah pray with us pray with us uh, the cry bamwe baravuga ngo nigiye wasenze ari kutarira pray with a loud voice ngo cyangwa nugiye wasenze urangura yishwe if i pray one hour or two hours three hours then god may listen ngo cyangwa nsenze isaha yose ntarikiraho cyangwa sabiri imana yanyumva it is what we think and then what is what do you think about the Uh, the the prayer what the god listen if so nibyo twa dutekereza ku isengesha imana yakumva but actually bible clear said the prayer what god listen and the prayer what god doesn't listen ariko bibiri tubwira isengesha imana yumva ni gitumva let's check john chapter 9 verse 31 the gospel of johanna ibice 9 john chapter 9 verse 31 Yohana bishikenda murongo wa 31 Bible said now we know that God does not hear sinners but if anyone it is the whisper of the God and does he will he hear him Arandisengo eh tuziyo ku imani tumba abanyabya ariko yubaga kora ibyo ishaka wo niwe yumva Yes Bible what is the Bible said Now we know that 
God doesn't hear sinners. Right? Bible said, God doesn't hear from sinners. It is not only the verse what the Bible is saying. Also, you can check the Hebrew chapter 7, verse 26. Hebrew chapter 7, verse 26. Today, I'm going to read the many verses. Please focus on well, and then you can also write down the Verses. As the Bible said, for such the high priest was built uh, fitting for us who is holy, homeless, on 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 they they feel uh, they feel and separate from the sinners, and has become higher than the heavens. What is the Bible said? High priest separate from sinners. Right? It means because the, the sinner and the high priest, it is the Jesus, is separated, then Jesus cannot hear. Uh, now we can see, ah, the sinner's prayers, God doesn't listen. God doesn't hear from, does not hear from sinner. It is right. It is the Bible saying. It means if you have seen your heart, even though you pray one hour, two hours, three hours, or if you pray without fasting, anything, it is not meaningful. It is not meaningful. Because of sin. Because of sin, God cannot listen. Uh, we can check one more verses. Uh, Isaiah chapter 59. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1. The Bible said, Behold, the Lord has is not certain, uh, that, is, uh, that is cannot save, nor his he, his ear heavy that this cannot hear. The Rukoku we take a Nikwa has a Guanani Rukuchis, no good to quit Nikwa Fuye, Guanani Rukum. His Bible said, God has not certain that this cannot save, and nor his ear heavy can it that it cannot hear. God has an inner power to hear your prayer. Actually. God doesn't have the limitation of the hearing, hearing of your prayers. Even though now the, the, this world is more than 7 billion people living this earth, what if the all people they pray at once together? Do you think God cannot hear from them? Oh yeah, today don't pray the half of you. Huh? I can hear from only at once for the Three billion people. Uh, the others don't pray today, okay? Uh, tomorrow your turn, and then next day your turn. Huh? Uh, there is turn, okay? Do you think God, 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 God wants to say like that? No. Actually, God can hear. Everyone at once, even. Even though seven billion people they pray at, at once together, 
God can listen. Nubwo miliyari zirindwe zose za sengeri cyari mu Imana yazumva. But what is the problem? What is what make the what can what makes God cannot listen? Ariko niki cyatuma Imana itumva. That is sin. Nicha. If you have a sin, even though you pray 5 hours, 6 hours, no matter how many, many times you pray, God never listens. So because of that, or even the Isaiah chapter 59 verse 2 says, But your iniquities have separated you from your God, and your sin have hidden your face, his face from you, so that he will not hear. Because uh, for example, I'm standing this now uh, the, uh, in front of the people, right? Uh, and then the pastor Jean Pierre is helping me to interpret. Um, but between us there's nothing, right? But what if between us, there is a very high wall, is there. And then there, it is very thick. Then, do you think the Pastor John Perry can hear from me, even though I say something? No, because of the wall. He cannot hear. Sin is like a war between us, we, and God. Because of sin, even though God wants to listen from you, God cannot hear. But problem is, people, they, they want to find a way through their actions. They want to find a way with a, with a, like a, works. Ah, I need a, I need a money. And then, I have to pray for the money, right? They know if they need something, they need to pray before God. But people think, ah, when I pray about the, uh, the, the money, if I give some offering, then God will hear from me. Uh, nowadays, my, uh, my mother is sick, so may I, if I help the church to do some volunteering, then God will listen from my prayer. That is what people think. Then they try to do something, good things. Because they believe that if I do it, if I do good works, then God can hear from me. The Bible clear say, not because of works, not because of your action, because of sin, God cannot hear. It's mean, if you want to make God to listen from you, firstly, you have to wash your sin. Then, when you're, when your sin is washed away, then, God start to listen from you. So we have to see how can you wash our sin then? Oh, we have to check the Bible. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 10. The Bible said, By that will, we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Actually, Jesus came to the earth before 2,000 years ago. Actually, we also know the meaning of the Jesus. 
The name of Jesus, meaning of the name of Jesus is the save from the their sins. Ndetse ni gisobanuro kizina Yesu bivuga umukiza w'ibyaha by'abantu be. Then it means Jesus came to the earth for save the people from their sins. Bivuze ko Yesu yaje mwisi aje gukiza abantu akabakura mu byaha. Because of that Jesus died on the cross. Ina cyo cyamuteye gupfira ku musaraba. With our sin. Uh, we are seeing of the word. When you check the Bible, the John chapter 1, verse 29, the Bible says, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. It means Jesus took away the sin of the world before 2000 years ago even the god is the alpha and omega kandimana niyo alpha ni nayo omega it means he is the beginning and the, he is the end buze ko ariyo tangirika bani herezo and every the war start from the start from the uh, the war uh, the beginning of the war end of the war Every sin is the sin of the world. There ibya byose guhera kuri iryo tangiriro kugeza ku yerezo byitwa ibyaha byabo mwise. Then Jesus took away our sin. Yesu rero ibyo nibyo yakuyeho. And then because the wage of sin is death. Kwera ku yembo byicyaha rurupfu. Jesus died on the cross. Yesu yapfiriye ku musaraba. And then before he died on the cross. Mbere yuko apfira ku musaraba. Before he he uh, he spirit Go up to the heaven, he said, It is finished. This means our sin is finished on the cross. Wage of sin is finished. Because we cannot pay the debt ourselves. Jesus paid for us. And then Hebrews chapter 10 verse 10 says, By that will we have, we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. What is mean? It means our sin is Finish at once on the cross. This means we don't need to pay for our sin once again. Huh? It is very clear because it is written in the Bible. So if you believe this word, if you believe this Hebrews chapter 10 verse 10, you can boldly say, I am righteous. Then if you are righteous, then there is no sin. Then you can, if you pray before God, God is ready to listen from you. Because there is no sin. So, the true prayer is pray without sin. Can we check ourselves? Do I, do I, am I enough to pray before God? Can you check yourself? Really, in my heart, there is no single, even the sins, even single one. If you can say yes, then God is ready to listen from you. Then, what we have to do? Do we have to pray, like, in front of, uh, pray for the showing the, to God? We have to pray with a loud voice. Do we need to pray for like with a fasting and there's something work, good works? No, now, even though just you pray while you walk on the street, 
then God is listening from you. Even when you actually when we pray, we close our eyes, right? Do you think if you pray, if you don't close your eyes, then God doesn't listen? Huh? What do you think? Do you think if I uh, if I pray with open eyes, then God doesn't listen? No, God listen from you. Mm. Or you don't make from you. No, God listen from you. don't make your hands with you. gather like this, then God doesn't listen from you. No, God listen from you. It is not important how to pray but more than that it is very important how uh, which pray do you do it's not important if you pray with a faith about this bible if you believe Really, God is listening from me. Whatever I pray, God will listen. If you have faith in your heart, then God is already listening from you. I think you know this, everyone knows this verse. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. The Bible said, Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Amen. Yes, but what is the Bible said? Whatever you think you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Yes, is, is it Bible saying when you pray you have to cry? Is the Bible said when you pray you have to uh, follow according to the model prayers? Or is it is it Bible said when you pray you have to pray one hour, two hours, three hours? No, Bible said believe. When you pray, believe that you receive them. If you believe, I receive this, God listen from me. If you believe, and God achieve your prayer according to what you ask. Then, it is, it is very, so because of that, it is very important. Do you believe or not believe? Even though you pray 10 seconds, even though you pray like 5 seconds, no matter it is short or long, if you believe, then God is listening from you. So when you pray, it is very important to uh, important about the belief. So when you pray before God, how long do you wait for the receive the uh, achievement? Actually, many people they pray and then they wait like one week, one month, one year. But they they don't think uh, they they think oh, God is not listening from me. 
ariko bakagira bagatekereza tubanze imana itaranyumvise because i wait one week ati dore kimwe cyose kirashize i wait one month dore kwezi kose kurashize god i wait one year negereje umwaka wose oh you see god didn't listen dere imana ntiyanyumvise and then we just give up bagahita babivamo but actually when you pray you have to believe until god Ariko nimba wizera koko byukuri ugomba kwizera kugeza kwiherezo. I don't know it will takes 10 years or 20 years. Nubwo byagufata imyaka 10 cyangwa 20 rukitegereje. But casually it is seen from you. Ariko cyukuri nuko Imana yakumvise. And casually achieve your prayer. Kandi yamaze no gusoza ibyo wayisabye. So it is very important to believe. There ikintu kingenze no kwizera. Believe your prayer. Also, I want to talk about the fasting. When you check the Matthew chapter 6, after, after Jesus explained about the prayer, also Jesus uh, explained about the fasting, verse 16, Moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a uh, sad uh, com contentness uh, appear to men to the, uh, the be fasting as surely i say to you they have their reward Matthew chapter 6 verse 16 um bare mataibice bitandatu ni wo kandi Kuko bagaragaza umubabaro kugira ngo abantu babarebe ko biyirije ubusa ndababwira kuri yuko bamaze kugororerwa ingororano zabo Even verse 17 But you when you you fast anoint your head and wash your face Chumina karindwa ariko weho ho ni wiyirize ubusa wisiga amavuta mu mutwe wiyuhagire mu maso So that you do not appear to men to be fasting but to your father who is in the secret place, and your father who see in secret will reward you openly. Actually, when we doing the fast, and then we want to show them, ah, yeah, you see, I'm, I'm fasting now. Uh, I fasted one week. Even I fasted 40 days. Actually, they want to show people I am doing this. Uh, and then they think it is my honor. Uh, I'm doing the good spiritual life. I'm sincere fool. I am a good Christian. But God doesn't want to do like that. Actually, God wants to reward you even though you do this fasting secretly. No matter you fast openly or secretly, God always wants to reward you. So what we have to do the fast? Because it is also related with the relationship with God. Fasting means I want to give all my time to God. For me, when I entered the mission school, uh, there is one like traditions. It's a school tradition. It is like during the one week, I have to fast. And then during the one week, I, I don't do anything, just read the Bible. Only drink the water, then start from the morning up to evening, continue to read the Bible. And then we, we take the fast until you read the whole Bible. 
you know how long do you take the, how much uh, how much uh, how long the time do you take for the one bible if you don't do anything and then read the only bible mostly you take like a four days or three days some, some people they take six days but once you you try to fast then you can find something it is Ah, I'm wasting my time many, many, uh, I'm wasting my time in day, in uh, a day. Actually, sometimes we are chasing with uh, the time. We say, ah, I don't have time. Uh, uh, Pastor, because I don't have time to read the Bible, so I cannot read. Yes, I want to read, but you see, I'm busy with the work, busy with uh, caring my child, busy with the uh, study, so I cannot do. But when you try to fast, then you can find, oh, I have a lot of times. Because, you see, actually when we have some meal, one meal, it's normally people, they take one hour or one hour and a half. Uh, because this meal, you just don't eat only eat the food, but also prepare the food, and then also cooking, and then after eat, you also wash the dish. Then you can see, oh, time is already passed, like one hour and one hour and a half. But when you try to fast, then you can see, wow, I have a lot of time. Because you don't need to take the time for eating. So that time also you can use for the reading Bible. Even you can pray before God. Then it means you can focus on on the Bible. There, there is a benefit of the fast. So if you don't have the time to read the Bible, <laughs> uh, I hope to try. Uh, I have to try to fast. One no. one meal. If, it, it is okay to just take one fast fasting, one meal. Then that time, you can try to read the Bible. And then you can find, wow, this really Bible has a, a lot of gift. God, Bible is giving me the power. Then you can get the relationship with God more closely. So today I, I have talked about the prayer and the fasting. So I hope you remember why we need to pray, why we need to fast. It is not because it is not because we have to show people. But it is because you need to have a relationship with God. Through the prayer, through the fasting, you can see, ah, I'm close, I'm close with God. And then you can see, God is giving you the true happiness. And then also God is giving you the spiritual food. And this spiritual food make you to leave this world with a boldness and a power. Amen. Okay, so thanks for listening today. So I speak up to here. So, uh, okay, thank you.
So we have the also next time, next uh, orders. But before that, I have short announcement. Uh, we will not have the like offering time separately. But if you have, but if you have a thankful heart before God, then you can freely offer some your some your uh, materials. Yeah, you can freely offer through the offering box or momo code. Okay, thank you. You will receive one question. Okay. 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 Uh, no end up saying a Samunani who come for Zoom Yera, Quacoveri Chivazo, Kamaku Faticho Kuria, Tiafatwanki Cosa, Marcos. But if you, you take time to fast, but uh, if to you reach like around 2 pm and you feel dizzy because of hunger, if you take something, is that wrong? No, I, it is not me. <laughs> You know, even though you decide to fast fast before God, yes, if you feel dizzy and then you like feel I'm going to die, it's okay to have a meal. That you are go say umba of the chivasa mubiri kafati chudge. Because it's not mean if you break the fasting, then you will punished by God. Now go use the command is a guha na ngo wariwa use the kowi iri zano nebira konani. But God only focus your heart. Mani chayi tayo no muti ma. Your manner. So. God see, ah, really this brother want to have a relationship with me. Then, even though you fast just one hour, two hour, no matter that, God is happy with that. You understand, right? Uh. Yeah, we could.